As I show you how to circuit to breathe, don't be afraid to look silly, uh, because I'm going to look silly, and, and I'm going to depend on the fact that you're going to do this with me. You need courses, I said, two free hands. Now, don't do this yet. Watch me. First, you're going to blow all your out, and then you're going to puff your cheeks and so forth. Watch me first. Now, do that with me, please. Okay, great. Next step, we're going to do the same thing, except this time make the smallest pinhole possible, and we're going to push the air out very slowly with our hands. Watch me first, don't do it. Let's do that together. Great. Next step, we're going to do exactly the same thing, but no hands. Watch me first. <sighs> Let's do it together. Fabulous. Now let's do that once again all together. Now inhale through your nose. That is circular breathing. Congratulations, you've just taken your first circular breath. Once you learn how to do that, here are the next step steps to go from that to your instrument. Just take a straw, a regular straw, Pinch off the end and blow against it. And inhale while blowing out. Just let a little air out as you do so. Then get a pipe, actually any kind of a straight pipe or a regular smoking pipe. Put a rag in it or stop it with your hand. Blow against it the same way. Just letting a little bit of air out, a little more out, a little more out. Then go to your instrument. When you get to the instrument, play F with the octave key. F, G, down to E with the octave key, that's the range. Maybe A, G, G sharp, that's the range to begin with. And soon you will be able to circular breathe. I hope that helps. Circular breathing is really a very easy thing to do. It's just a sensation once you get used to, it's a, to it. It's a very valuable tool.